Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we're coming at you with a very exciting video. It's the one that you've been waiting for for a very long time. You all guys have been asking for it and finally the day is here. Today we are reintroducing to you the better, the new, the improved books for English and Hindi. You can see on your screen the new cover pages for our English and Hindi books and it says ASAP Edu's Hindi Translation Master Hindi English Word List and also ASAP Edu's English Vocab the master word list for all competitive exams and the GK book as you can see on your screen is coming very soon before we go any further we just need to address this the option was to wait for the GK book and release all three of them together but that, that could have taken a long time and since so many exams are near and since so many of you have been waiting we decided that we are going to release the English and Hindi books right now so you guys can get to studying and very soon we will also release the GK book it's coming everything is on its way everything is working do not worry the GK book is coming to you guys please do not worry but right now we have the Hindi and English book for you so you guys can start preparing at least for those two which make a whole lot of marks it has a whole lot of weightage it is the thing that can distinguish you from all the other aspirants so now that we have addressed about the GK book let's get into the exciting part and before we show you more about the books and what all is in there, what all is improved, what is new, let me just go ahead and say that the English and Hindi books are now available on Amazon India and you can go ahead and you can buy them right now. Let's discuss more of what all has changed and what all has improved. So the hashtag for our books is nothing like this ever and as you will see in the course of this video, these books are completely new and there is nothing in the market that can even come close to this as you can see on your screen it says asap edu's english vocab and the reason we've made it asap edu is because the english vocab books are so good and you guys love it so much that so many people have utilized the books who are not even preparing for judiciary and we get these amazing emails where people tell us that we were just not good in English. We did not know a lot of English and we used your books. We did 10 pages a day as you recommended and our English has improved a lot. We can talk better in English. We've gotten emails where people have used it for a lot of other exams which we did not even know about. So based on your reviews and feedback, we have now made it in such a way that it can be used for any exam. We have utilized our groundbreaking batching technique again, which we batch up the words which have a similar theme. We have given the meaning of the words. We have given the etymology of the words. We've given synonyms. We've given antonyms. We've given pronunciation. We have given uh, example sentences. So you never have to wonder how to use it in a sentence. So we have given all of those things. As you can see on your screen, the foreword by Rahul sir from Rahul's IES. We are so blessed to have had Rahul sir ha given this foreword and we are very grateful for it. As you can see, it's in the beginning of the book. And then we see uh, how you can use the book and illustration, how to study this book let's let's see the table of contents so in the table of contents you can see that there are word meanings in which so many words have been batched up that there cannot literally be a word for any exam or for learning english that can be outside of this book you will be good to go for english when you see the words we have also given the word roots commonly used words from other languages for example from Fr french from italian from german We've given idioms. Again, all the idioms have been batched up by theme. You will see and it is mind blowing. And then you can see that there's legal maxims and Latin phrases too. So let me show you quickly what the word meanings look like. So the word meanings, as you can see on the very first page, these are all the kinds of governments. Democracy, which is a government run by the people. Oligarchy, a government run by a few powerful people and dominant people then there is autocracy a government run by people with unlimited powers so all of the different kinds of governments we've patched up 
this is the uh, quick one or two pages in which the simpler words which all sound the similar which all sound similar and are very confusing we've quickly patched them up so you can get it out of the way and then we get into the deep diving so now we see all the words and all the pronunciation and the etymology and sentences and all of it so let's take an example book you guys you can see there's so many words and all of them have been batched up all of them have synonyms all of them have antonyms if there are any if there is any homonym so homonym is a word which sounds similar i'll show you an example uh when it comes up so let's take one batch of words and just see as an example what it what does it mean to batch up words so on your screen you can see assuage which the meaning is to calm down intense feelings the manager tried to assuage the anger of customers after a rat was found in the kitchen the synonym for it is to allay the for example how do you use it in a sentence the sentence is the party president tried to allay the fears of the allies before the elections now this batch of words this box that you see has all words which are either similar sounding or have similar meanings so assuage has been batched with placate which also means to calm a person down and then you can see in front of placate there are also synonyms to mollify to pacify to conciliate so all of these words which mean the same you finished in one batch you know that all these words mean the same so if someone says hi i tried to placate his anger or i tried to mollify this person you will know that all of them mean the same thing it's not anything different so we've also given the noun form which is placation pacification mollification and if there's an antonym we've given that too so antonym is to provoke to enrage if placate is to calm someone down then the antonym and the or the opposite of it is to provoke or to enrage someone and then the batch includes reconcile appease all of these words mean the same thing is to calm down but in different ways for example reconcile is to restore friendly relation between two fighting parties but it almost is the same thing so all this batch of words when you do together you have to use lesser brain power so later on when you think remember the batch you'd be assuage placate mollify reconcile appease Oh yeah all of these things mean to calm someone down or to make someone happy So you can see that all these words are patched up let's take an example here again see illicit illicit proscribe injunction writ impinge infringe perpetrate all of these legal words which are similar so if there is a theme if they are all legal words if they are all medical words if they are all tailoring words if they are all food related words we have batched up by theme by homonym by how they sound by what they mean so if there is anything which can confuse you ever we have made it very simple by batching them up for example you can see here so many medical words have been batched up and there's so many words for example which can be used to describe the appearance of either a person or an object musculature rotund cherubic girth stout thick set all of these are together so you know all the descriptive words together the entire book you guys is patched up and you will never get confused between words so i was telling you about homonyms look at this here it says evacuate emulate exude extrude protrude obtrude intrude so these are all similar sounding words and people get confused so when you do these together you will be able to compare and contrast and understand the difference between these similar sounding words for example extrude is to expel to get something out and the synonyms would be to shunt out to oust to eject for example ejecting a tape from a vcr and trude which sounds so much similar is to force something on someone 
he always obtrude his thoughts on others so extrude and obtrude which both sound so similar but you know the difference now extrude is to eject get it out and obtrude is to force on someone so you will never get confused between this batch of words so all the words have been batched up and then you can see that we've used words from other languages we've given any commonly used words from other languages for example the french words on the very first page on your screen you can see monsieur mademoiselle we oui, enchanté any of the commonly used french words maybe half a page so there are words from german words which have become popular some spanish words that you should know etc and then you can see all the idioms also are patched up by theme for example on your screen you see to marry above oneself to go in the family way patter of tiny feet second childhood latchkey kid latchkey kid sorry and all of these are regarding either marriage or children and then underneath of that you can see teething troubles growing pains they sound similar teething troubles growing pain and they also mean something similar and again the etymology is given which makes it so much easier to understand the idiom for example see growing pains is the short term problem encountered by an organization when they start to become big so initially whenever an organization starts becoming big they have some small problems these can be called teething troubles these can be called growing pains and the etymology is that this refers to the pains in the limbs and joints of children during growth spurts so when children grow and their bones grow and their joints grow they have these pains because it's a difficult process and similarly from that etymology people use this very often when talking about companies or organizations that this company is having growing pains so once you understand where the etymology is from what is the source what is the story behind this idiom it is so much easier to understand we have given the etymology for all the idioms wherever it's a good story wherever you need to know the background of it where you can understand the idiom better because of the story we have given the etymology so you can understand it so much better and all the idioms have been patched up by theme they have been patched up by meaning they have been patched up if they sound similar so you will never forget an idiom you will never get confused between two similarly sounding idioms and you will remember them so much better from all the stories that are there in the idioms and then the similarly we've also patched up legal maxims we've patched up the latin phrases everything is patched up so that's the english book for you and then let let's also see the hindi book quickly again the preface is there and then there is the foreword by rahul sir from rahul's ias which we are so grateful for and here's the uh, table of contents for the hindi book you can see on your screen there is a list of word meanings then there is the english translation of some common laws and rules so any laws and rules which there are phrases not just words that you need to know we have translated for you and then there's english translation of important parts of the constitution of india and there's english translation of important legal words so if you want to learn translation from hindi to english this is the book for you and if you want to learn the translation from english to hindi again this is the book for you if you have very good english and you don't know how to translate in hindi for example in delhi judicial services they ask translate in hindi and they give you a difficult passage and you don't know hindi very well you will learn everything constitution legal words any important other words that are but on the other hand you are very good in hindi aapki hindi bahut achhi hai but aapko english nahi aati and aap practice karna chahte ho english translation this is the book for you because it will show you hindi and english words side by side so this works both ways english to hindi and hindi to english so here's the first batch of words again all the words have been batched up so they are very easy to remember 
यू कैन सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन स्वतंत्रता आजादी मुक्ति स्वाधीनता एंड वॉट डू दे मीन दे मीन फ्रीडम इंडिपेंडेंस लिबरेशन एंड इमेंसिपेशन एंड देन अंडर नीथ द फिट इज अ फुल बैच ऑफ वर्ड्स विच इज स्वतंत्र आजाद मुक्त विच मीन्स एंड अगेन ऑल द वर्ड्स कैन बी यूज फॉर स्वतंत्र आजाद मुक्त फ्री इंडिपेंडेंट लिबरेटेड इमेंसिपेटेड ऑल ऑफ दीज वर्ड्स कैन बी यूज स्वतंत्र इच्छा फ्री विल स्वतंत्रता दिवस फ्रीडम डे और इंडिपेंडेंस डे स्वतंत्र और निश पक्ष चुनाव फ्री एंड इम्पार्शल इलेक्शन सो एवरीथिंग दैट इज स्वतंत्र रिलेटेड फ्रीडम रिलेटेड इंडिपेंडेंस रिलेटेड एवरीथिंग इज बैचड अप ओवर हियर सिमिलरली यू कैन सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन ऑल ऑफ द वर्ड्स रिगार्डिंग धर्म आर बैचड अप सो डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ रिलीजन्स धर्म इज रिलीजन देन देर इज धार्मिक धर्मनिष्ठता धार्मिकता पवित्र पावन सो हिंदू मुसलमान ईसाई सिख इनको क्या कहते हैं हिंदू मुस्लिम क्रिश्चन सिख एज यू कैन सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन सो इट गोज हिंदी टू इंग्लिश एंड इंग्लिश टू हिंदी इफ यू आर गुड इन हिंदी एंड यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न इंग्लिश एंड यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न हाउ टू ट्रांसलेट यू मस्ट यूज दिस बुक बिकॉज फॉर एवरी हिंदी वर्ड दैट यू कैन थिंक ऑफ देर इज एन इंग्लिश वर्ड विच इज गिवन इन दिस बुक एंड इफ यू आर वेरी गुड इन इंग्लिश बट यू डोंट नो हिंदी अगेन दिस विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू द इंग्लिश बुक इज देयर टू गेट योर इंग्लिश रेडी लाइक ले राउंड द फाउंडेशन इट विल गिव यू वर्ड्स इट विल गिव यू इडियम्स यू कैन यूज इट इन एग्जाम्स यू कैन लर्न इंग्लिश वेल बट इन एडिशन टू दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फर्दर augment this english and you want to learn the translation english you've learned you've learned the words but you also want to learn translation of how to translate the thoughts in your head into a different language if your thoughts are in hindi how do you translate in english if your thoughts are in english how do you translate in hindi for that this is the book so both of these books are complementary to each other and they are must to become proficient in both hindi and english and translation and doing well in exams and life so on your screen you can also see that all of the laws which are there we have given you the english and hindi translation for it so what uh, and we've also given you the english translation of important parts of the constitution of india so if you're preparing for an exam and sometimes people buy dig lot and then they study the entire constitution from it and then the hindi or the english translation of it you don't need to buy diglot separately everything is over here all the important parts of constitution are here translated hindi to english english to hindi for you so if there is actually a translation passage in any of the exams from constitution all the important words all the important phrases all the important parts of the constitution are here which have been translated and then some of the important legal words which are very commonly used which you should know we have also given that for example on your screen you can see kanoon ka saman sangrakshan it is equal protection of laws avsaro ki samanta is equality of opportunity so these are common common phrases which are used common legal words which are used for example equal protection of laws e equality of opportunity all of these things you need to know and so that you don't have to go ahead and hunt and make these phrases yourself we've given them very nicely very conveniently batched up for you so you can go through these and the most important part the additional part which we've done in this book is that we have given past year translations you've done the translations for you so you can actually see how to translate you can practice it and you can see past year papers too so this is the upsc union public service commission mains exam paper which we've translated we've also done translations for delhi judicial services for haryana judicial services again even if it is not that you're not even if it is that you're not appearing for an exam let's just assume that for a second then also just to see the translations on right hand and left hand and just to see the full paragraph it creates new connections in your brain you see it from a very new perspective yes you know all the words but how do you see them in sentences how do you see them in paragraphs how do you see the entire idea translated from one language to another so we have given full paragraphs and in addition to this there is when you buy the book and you read it 
you will find something interesting there is also some bonus material which you can get access to and how to get it is also given in the book it's exciting it's fun you're going to love it so these are the english and hindi books which are complementary to each other and they are must for getting proficient in english and hindi both so these books are now available on amazon in india guys do not wait do not walk run get them and the gk book is also coming very soon we look forward to hearing your feedback on these new and improved books we hope you like them we worked very hard for them so please share with us how do you feel about it how do you like it?